sense of being alone or apart, I know it can just wear on you. And when you're teased or bullied, it can seem like somehow you brought it on yourself. Anthropogenic greenhouse warming is a theory whose basic mechanism is well understood, but whose magnitude is highly uncertain. Yes, we are unusually warm right now, just like we were a thousand years ago during the medieval warm period, and two thousand years ago during the Roman warm period. Now, those previous warm periods couldn't have been our fault. The point is, climate varies naturally. Some activists, politicians, journalists, corporate and government agency representatives, and even scientists who should know better have made claims that are just unsupportable based on evidence and research. It's my view that such false claims undermine the credibility of arguments for action on climate change, and to the extent that these false claims confuse those who are making decisions related to extreme events, they could, in fact, lead to poor decision making. On the afternoon of August 3, 1562, a thunderstorm struck Central Europe across a front several hundred kilometers long. After raging for several hours, the storm unleashed a terrific hail that continued until midnight. It destroyed crops, it destroyed vineyards, birds, and unprotected horses and cows. Diarists then noted something that we hear today. They said for a hundred years, such a storm had not been seen. The storm was deemed so unusual in this period of superstition that it had to be unnatural. It had to be supernatural. Thus, superstition and witchcraft bred a precautionary response. Eradicate those responsible for this, the storm and this period of new storminess. Now, it was well known that people could cook weather with the help of Satan. So thus did extreme conditions of the severest part of the Little Ice Age contribute to Europe's most horrific period of mass executions and witch trials. We all have studied very, very hard about this issue and trying our best to learn the subject so that we can really uh, better ourselves in terms of really trying to better prepare for what the future may hold. Now, there were skeptics who stood up, but they were often accused of, or threatened to be accused of sorcery to squash any debate. So legal philosopher Jean Baudin in 1580 noted that witchcraft was the most terrible problem facing humankind. Again, a very, a very modern note. What is it that we deny? Uh, also, you know, this 97%, well, what does the 97% consensus mean? You know, what do all of those people agree to? Well, they agree to something fairly innocuous, and it's something that most of us agree to, that humans must have some influence on climate. The question is, how much? That's the freedom that enriches all of us. That's what America's all about. But science needs special societal protection. And without that protection, science will just be dialed out and in its place will be substituted the myths that humans love to create. Myths like weather cooking. <laughs>